I repeat, hatless. Oh my god, you are. I didn't notice. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's over there. <gasps> I don't know. Should I be getting it? Someone said something about not not watching you if you don't the have a hat. The imposing gothic entrance to the world famous New York Daily Register News Tribune. It's a long name. Could you pat your head and rub your stomach for a second? I oh, can wait. totally do that. It's the world famous product design building. The New York home for the mentally bewildered. Bewildered. <laughs> it was a it's gentler a time. Car. In a way. It's a car! <laughs> yeah. Why would you ask me that, you stupid idiot? <laughs> Taxi! Ooh, sound effects. It sounds like someone's just doing this with their lips. Maybe they were. Greetings, madam. I can motivate you to your destination if you can prove that, that you're a reporter or if I you can have American motivate currency. you. <laughs> if you're a reporter or if you have American currency. Yeah, either one will do. It reads, Taxi Operator's License, New York Taxi Control Authority. The bottom of the license reads, License renewed September 5, 1926. The driver's name is Rocco. Rocco. Yeah. Yes, it was a gentler time apart from the whole lobotomy and electroshock, electrotherapy thing, yeah. Yeah. The and the rampant racism big, and sexism and guy depression with a broken and all that, nose. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't touch him. Let's touch him. It's so wrong. I better save. <laughs> I'm gonna touch him. In the right in the back of the head. Please don't touch me, madam. Creeper. I don't know where yeah. you've been. <laughs> I don't know where you've been. Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. I'm gonna touch myself. You straighten out your dress. Yeah. Appearances count. Alright, so he wants us to prove that we are a member of the press, so let's show him our press pass. Uh-huh. If you flash what it quickly enough. Would you like to be motivated, madam? Um, I'm thinking the police station. That's what you had said first. So first instincts are. There's a speakeasy. Good idea. Remember he talked about a stoolie at the speakeasy. Oh yeah. All right, police station first. Then we go and get drunk. <laughs> Have you heard about that transatlantic radio telephone conversation between New York and London? Imagine hearing someone's voice from that distance. Modern technology. Oh, it just amazes. <laughs> Modern technology. It's kind of awesome having that that particular little monologue while we're live streaming this across the world. Yeah. It's wonderful. <gasps> hey, it's a drunk. <laughs> Let's go touch the drunk. You sound so happy about this or something. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> Should I be worried? A man sleeping under a newspaper. Judging by the strong smell of alcohol, you deem it wise not to light a match in his presence. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm to poke him. Because apparently you just want to go around poking so? everything. <laughs> Imagine seeing someone again at a well in Scotland. Imagine. Exactly. Hey, anime heroes here. Hey! Hi, hi. He snores in response. Alright, I guess we can't... Snores. A proud stone lion with a he lamp snored in, his head. in your general direction. The fact that he's looking east may indicate that he looks forward to the sunrise each day. Or maybe not. What does it say for this one? Perhaps a proud stone face. lion with a lamp on his head. The fact that he's looking west may indicate that he enjoys watching the colors of the sunset each day. Or maybe not. Amazing. <laughs> She's a reporter. She has to look for like details and meaning and everything, right? Yeah. That, that's her job? Unless the sign is lying to you, this is the police <laughs> station. No, it's the police station. It's where the police go. Aww, the ones with no money. Lice. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go on in. po po lice. There's no points in this game, huh? Mm. No, not like King's Quest. <laughs> you like the hobo poking? Don't we all? <laughs> I have to say, I never thought I'd like this kind of game, but I can't stop watching. 
Well, I hope that means we're entertaining you, <laughs> and not just that it's like some sort of like sick fascination, you know, like a car accident. Yeah. It's fun to play. I don't know where you can get the lower bow these days, but you can get a lot of these Sierra good games, games on goodoldgames.com. No, it's not on there. Oh, I thought it used to be. Mm -mm. Um, I don't think so. But GOG.com, you can get King's Quest 1 through 6, you can get all the Police wow. Quests, Space Quests, they're all good games. This support column is also a handy place for posting notices and announcements. Hey now, keep your eyes off of those notices! Oh, it's an Irish cop! Or Ish. Something. Irish. Ish. He's, he's yeah. Ir-ish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sergeant Dennis O'Flaherty is the desk sergeant on duty today. He's shuffling papers, putting on a good show of looking busy while his mind is elsewhere. I can't imagine what that's like. I never do that at work. Here now, don't be tucked in a good class. Pardon me. Pardon me. Looking for some information. Where well, take yourself down the library then? <laughs> Pardon me, sergeant, but I happen to be a reporter with the trib. <laughs> Oh, well, so I got the bond then. Look, Lassie, I've been out in my dogs all day, and I haven't had my lunch, and I got a better thing to do than to jaw with some slip of a girl reporter. Go on with you now. A slip of a girl reporter. Just a slip of a girl. Look, miss, I'm not in the mood to answer any reporter's questions. Now I sound Scottish. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> yeah, ish. Yeah. <laughs> he's Scott ish. <clears throat> um, he's like generic ethnic. Insert here. Yeah. Uh, oops, that's not where I want to go. From this general area of the world. That will be coming in handy for you, miss. So you just hang on to it now. But I... I... Maybe we shouldn't come here first. Do you like baseball? Yeah. Can I throw it at him? No, thanks, lad. I prefer I'm wrestling. Uh, of course you do. Uh, Alright, maybe coming here was premature. Possibly. I won't be needing one of those, miss. I already got one out of supply. Huh. Well? The door to a private office. See, I, I do remember one thing that you're supposed to do here, but I don't know if we are prepared to do that yet. <laughs> the beautiful mahogany counter serves a dual purpose as desk and shield. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. Because at some point you have to, like, you know, get him to open up, right? Right. And you, like, can do something to do you that. Correctly. But I don't think... You hear the muffled response. <clears throat> Come in. Oh, all right. I don't think we've encountered a situation that... Sure that and be I'm Detective O'Reilly. Sure and be gora. He's a little more obviously I'm Irish, sort of. Would it be possible? You can't be a reporter, lass. You're a girl. The trib only hires men. <laughs> That's sexist. Well, until now, it was true. You don't believe me. I thought that Crab Feather guy was going to be right in the robbery article. Crab Father was assigned to it, but the story is mine now. Can she I sounds so possessive. It's mine now. It's very technical, lass. I don't think you'll be learning much from it. Ah! Uh. Oi. For your concern, detective, but I'd like to be the judge of that. I don't know how people didn't get all stabby back then. I'll say that much for you. Have a look then. The file on the Lion Decker Museum burglary is nothing more than a single handwritten page. It mentions only one stolen object. The dagger of Amon Ra. Dun dun dun! <laughs> the burglar or burglars left no fingerprints or other clues. Their method of access to the museum is unknown. In summary, the police are baffled about the burglary at the museum at this point. Some parts of the report seem vague. They're just the baffled. reports are signed by Detective Ryan Hanrahan O'Reilly. There's only one page to this report. Where's the rest of it? So it's highly technical. Uh -huh. That's all of it right now. It's rather vague, isn't it? Good 
police work takes time, and I'm a very busy man. I haven't had time to follow up on the burglary. So what if a museum loses a knife? Uh, there are people being a knife. left and right in this city, dropping like flies. Dropping like flies! Being stolen, booze is being smuggled into speakeasies. Pedestrians are being mugged. Firebugs are burning down half the city. They're running out of grapes at the corner market. And I've got a headache. Clearly, the grapes are far more important yeah. than an important Egyptian antiquities item. Hey. All right, buddy. Settle down. I'm a very busy man. I need to work on my accent. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now, CSI couldn't have solved the mystery by now. They would have needed at least four commercial breaks. Come on. <laughs> Probably, yeah. All right, well, we got some extra leads. Can we talk to this guy again? Ask him any questions? Possibly. You want to go to the speakeasy, find the stoolie? <laughs> you just want to go to the speakeasy. Yeah! That's the real reason that we're playing this game. I'm not in the mood to answer any reporter's questions. All right, fine. Should I get some scotch before going there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the music. Hey! What's that? The drunk's gone. Uh-huh. Yeah, she doesn't walk very fast. paper is full of old news and a valuable coupon. Coupon What's... for what? Pick it up. The paper up is full of old news and a valuable coupon. Good now. Oh, you can't. Ah. There you go. for a free sandwich from Luigi. It's good, because apparently I have no money, so... Mm -hmm. We can use that. You pick it up and place it in your purse. It's like the purse of holding. Although most women's purses are purses of holding. Yeah, I was going to say, have you seen mine? Like, you take it out, you've got like... Alright, so we've got Kleenex, we've got money, we've got chapsticks, we've got scissors, we've got a small oven. <laughs> I can motivate you to your Spare tire. If you can oh, you know. TARDIS. You have to be prepared for every every situation. Why do we have to show him our press pass every time? Like what He doesn't remember us? You like to be I want to go to Luigi's for a free sandwich. It's not on the list! Uh-uh. That's right. part I remember. Well, if we can't eat, Ish. then we'll drink. Be careful of the sticky right. spot on that seat. I'm always taking that six-year-old Asimov kid over to his parents' candy store in Brooklyn. Asimov kid? Read science fiction pulps and lick lollipops in the back seat. Intelligent kid, but kind of messy. Nice. Uh -huh. Thanks for traveling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. Drink Moxie. So it's a flower store with a speakeasy in the back. And, uh -huh. Oh, we're not going to be able to like password our way through this, though. This is a rough part Probably of not. town with several abandoned buildings. The sidewalk looks dirty. Dirty. It's dirty. This is a rough part of town with... What? Yes. The front door to the abandoned flower shop. The battered side door to the flower shop, complete with a mail slot and a tiny window. I should stop eating on camera. Door. What's that? I should stop eating on camera. Classy, I'm sure. Let's go knock on the side door. Sure they'll let us in. I'm, I'm sure they will, yes. I mean, we're adorable. We're polite. We're closed. No delivery. Hmm. We don't know the secret word, though. <laughs> so I guess we need to do some more something before we can get in here. Investigation? Secret word. Hmm. Ziggy. I think that's the stoolie. Yeah. Are you deaf, lady? We're closed. Go away. Alright, we'll have to come back. Damn it! I'm sorry. You know you could just get a drink here if you're that anxious. Just, you know. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to whistle. Well, I mean, like that. Like, people do the, the two-finger whistle thing? Mm -hmm. Actually, on the camera, it kind of looks like I'm sticking them up my nose. If you can prove that you're a reporter. Yes, I'm a goddamn reporter. <laughs> what location would you like to be motivated, madam? I don't know. 
We don't know anything about these other places because I didn't ask him about anything. I want to go to New York. Learn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should click on that. It's hilarious. Have you heard about that transatlantic radio telephone conversation? Yes. Imagine hearing someone's voice from that distance. <laughs> Modern technology, oh, it just amazes me. <laughs> Thanks for traveling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. Oh, good. We've got kids. Oh, still looks like yeah, I remember them. He appears slightly older than the other two boys. I don't like brown those children. Hair wild and unruly, and a look of studied indifference on his face. The indifference is heightened by the nonchalant way he's burning ants with a magnifying glass. Yeah. There's reasons why I don't like these children. But tell him to stop. Stop burning ants. So what's your name, little boy? Ma, what Hip. a nice Something like name. that. <laughs> Seriously, that's the it? Squeakiest voice ever. <clears throat> I ain't never been there, so don't ask. What's right there? Snarky, snarky, snarky. <laughs> Alright, it's going in. There's a way to talk to them, but I don't remember how to get it going. Probably just have to ask them the right question. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I just don't remember what it is. I don't even know why I'm here. I'm just, like, exploring. Let's go talk to the stereotypically Please Chinese man. I think I remember it a lot more of this My than you do. Wife, very woman. I'm trying not no to spoil things. In store, okay? okay? Terrible. Well, it's not as bad as Mickey Rooney. Excuse me? Yes, please. I was just wondering, uh, do you work here? Yes, ticket please. <coughs> Pop? Ticket please. You here to pick up? Yes? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just looking around. Okay, look all you want. Looking is free. Laundry not solved. That very random guy, yes, by the end of the game, every nation on Earth will have been insulted. Definitely. Just wait. There's so many more. I want to go to the museum. Okay. Okay. Why not? Alright. <laughs> We're probably going to lose the game because I'm doing things out of order. Yep. Which can happen in this game. We're not playing in the, like, the version that protects us from that sort of thing. Oh, there's a version of that, uh, this? No. It's the same? Oh, okay. Just saying, it's not like King's Quest. <laughs> we can actually fail at this one. We can start a new chapter with, without properly so getting all the items. Well, I can pretty much tell you now that you're not going to get too, too far at the museum right uh -huh. now, but, you know. Where should we go? Tell me. Um, well, if we went back to, I believe, the Tribune. Or is it this police station? Up the road from one of those. If you walk instead of taking the cab, you what? can get to the guy that has the, the... You can use the coupon for the sandwich from. You have to cross the street. But I can't remember if it's from, from the police station or the Tribune. Well, uh, I'm... Just go to the museum, it's fine. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do. What about that new air commerce act that was just passed? It's the one that provides federal aid for airlines and airports. I find it unfair. The government doesn't subsidize hard-working taxi chauffeurs. <laughs> of course. Thanks for traveling with us, madam. Have a pleasant day. Just seems like, you know, if we're looking for the story, it makes sense to go to the police station and the museum, really. Yeah, of course. So, we'll probably have to backtrack, but that's okay. Car. Note the sleek lines of this late model automobile. Yes, right. they're very stylish. A fountain. It's a pretty museum, actually. A I wouldn't mind visiting that. Glass window. The entrance to the museum is framed with impressive marble columns. This is exactly the sort of architectural touch that seems so popular these days. Now, what kind of columns would you say they are? Ionic? Doric? I should know that, given my love for Greek architecture. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can actually <laughs> tell at this resolution. It's kind of fuzzy. Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. I can touch, like, giant columns all I want. Platonic, yes, they're totally platonic columns, yeah. obviously. Fundraiser tonight, formal attire required. That's why we need the laundry. We need to f steal someone's go. laundry crap. <laughs> the fundraising party will begin at 7 p.m. 
It's probably not even seven yet. Yeah, I think it's earlier in the day still. This door is locked. <laughs> okay. A lovely stained glass So, like, this is the stereotypical thing in games. There's, like, this totally random problem gets in your way. <laughs> you So you don't have the money, So we've and we've got, you know, we know there's a laundry, so we're going to have to, like, go and get a sandwich and then trade it to someone for it. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, you actually have to do quite a bit before you go to the museum. Yeah, like I think the museum's like chapter two. Maybe, yeah. All right, let's go to the let's go to the um, the police station and then see if we can walk out. I mean, that's where we found the ticket. True. Hadn't even occurred to me that we could like walk out of a scene. Oh, okay. Right. So, like, that's the thing. I feel like it's at the trip, but it would make more sense to be at the police station because it's closer. Yeah. So we're gonna have to try both probably. Probably. But. but I don't know what it would have led me to think about the fact that you could walk out of a street scene. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can walk out of a lot of scenes. I don't want to accidentally walk on the street and get squished. Don't stray too far in the Big Apple. It's a big city, and you're not familiar with it yet. Oh, uh, maybe you can't do it here. Hmm. Oh. There you go, maybe. Watch me get flattened. Yeah. There you go. Right as right as you clicked, I was thinking, no, you have to look before you go. But it was I was too slow. <clears throat> so how far back are we now? Well, we haven't actually done anything. Oh, right, we just looked around at the museum. So you're yeah. just going to skip going there, I guess? Yeah, I guess I'll check the street here. Well, it's too late. I already clicked. Yeah, I don't remember if you can cross here. I think you can only cross on some of them, but I could be wrong. It has been a little while. So what location would you like to be... Okay, so that was at the police station. And you... It, Clearly, you could cross the street there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know. Isaac Asimov is a strange stride. We, we get it. So I can, like, look? A real New York street. Think you have to... Uh, look there are no it. cars coming from this direction. And then the other way? Uh-huh. The police department... It's tricky, though. There are no cars coming from this direction. <clears throat> now, hopefully you... Get across before a car decides to come. There we go. Because it can be tricky timing sometimes. Yeah. God, these games. I've been hit so many times in this game. It's ridiculous. There we go. Oh. So just near the trib. Don't you love that? Like. Wait, but he's outside now. He wasn't there before. No. Because you have to get the coupon from the police station. Before he shows up at all? It was early morning. He hadn't set up shop yet. I guess so. So we could have <laughs> actually just taken a cab to the trib, and he would have just been there without crossing the street. I guess maybe. Okay. I so wait, why are we taking a cab from the trip to the was. police station? I know. It's across I the street. I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Apparently she can't walk anywhere in this this big well, scary city. <laughs> it's the heels. That's the problem. Uh-huh. Um, I was going to say, in uh, the first Police Quest game, uh -huh. if you don't follow proper procedures and do a full walk around your car the first time before you get into it, uh, when you're driving around the city, you get a, you get a flat tire and you die from a, a crash. Oh my god. You gotta go, yeah, so, like well, little things. That seems a little intense. A man selling corned beef sandwiches from a cart. So I'm sure his accent is gonna be like. Oh, terrible, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's poke him. Poke all the people! <laughs> she gets Why killed when she walks. Me? Seems sensible to take a cab. That's true! <laughs> Los Hobitos. <laughs> Los Hobitos, yeah, that's awesome. At the corn beef, get you hot corn beef sandwich! <laughs> sandwich! It's terrible. Oops, oh no. Drive safe, Faye. We'll see you soon. So, so lean, the cow should be tipping over? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cause oh, lean. Lord. Oh, God, it took me a second. That's terrible. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just give him the coupon. <coughs> terrible. I believe I would like a sandwich. Mamma mia, another coupon. I'm a gonna go broke. What a crummy idea I had. That's uh, the last time I advertised in a newspaper. You can advertise without giving weight. Sandwich and get out of here before I change my mind. Before I change my mind. Mmm, <laughs> sandwich. You pick yeah. it up and place it in your, your purse. purse. <laughs> <laughs> a corned beef sandwich in our purse. Awesome. Yeah, that's disgusting. Watering corned beef sandwich. Everything else is gonna smell still fresh. like corned beef Yum. for 
ever. I bet you we can give it to the cranky Irish cop. There you go. <laughs> uh, where's my save button? Isn't it here? Um. Yeah. I guess it was. It's just in the middle of something right now. I don't know. I'm gonna take a cab. Do it the safe way. Yeah. Lady, what are you doing? <laughs> People should, like, give us lines to say in terrible accents. Oh, God. <sighs> Lady, what are you doing? For us to say in terrible accents? Yeah. Us, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think I'm going to be in on this? Yeah. Police station. Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> no say before you! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go on in. Tachim. Cranky Irish cop plus corned beef sandwich. Because corned beef is like an Irish thing, isn't it? It's not an Italian thing. Corned beef? I don't know what it is originally. Well, yeah, I don't know but that But it is either. kind of a, a stereotypical kind of connection, yeah. I think so. I mean, it's either that or we give him haggis. Uh. That's my best troll face. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Sandwich, 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 sandwich. We bribe you with a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, we look so hungry. Here, take this. Children is a corn beef sandwich, all right. Lassie, lassie. Don't mind if I do. Do. Children is here fresh, too. Mmm. Yeah, I don't think they knew what, what they wanted him to be. Yeah, no. <laughs> generic. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, Haggis is Scottish, right? Yes, yes. Yes, definitely. As being a troll. Yeah, I heard about the horse meat thing in Canada. The, the thing, like, I don't get about the whole thing, right? And people are, like, appalled by it. It's like, you realize you're already eating cow, right? If you're willing to eat cow, yeah. why... Yeah. Like, it, don't get me wrong, I'm not all for eating horses, but I've been vegetarian for a decade, too, so... <laughs> yeah, it, it's that sort of double standard that people have that's like... No, these animals are yeah. like soulless and exist for eating, and these animals are like, no, they're special. We can't possibly yeah. eat them. Um, like, like I'm not some cultures eat dog. Yeah. And here it's like, oh, that's so wrong. There aren't pets. It's, you know, you shouldn't. But sure. mm. <laughs> I would totally eat dog. In some parts of India, cows are revered as sacred animals and are not touched too. So I mean, it's just cultural. Is it, and is it just used cows? To. I don't know how... I don't think it's just cows, but in certain areas, cows are, like, a big deal. I'm very ignorant, so I don't know anything <laughs> about this. And in other parts of India, they eat cow. I mean, it, it's it's all just... It's, it's all just very says cow regional, and, and... It's what? Cow's good. Cow's good. Would you guys eat Gilbert if he died? Um, no. I would cremate him and keep him, like I have with my last cats, the last few cats. Well, you, you don't want to eat anything that dies of, like, old age and anything. And no. Gilbert is clearly going to die of old age and nothing else, ever. Yeah. I know I <laughs> always feel a little better after I've had yeah, something to, to eat. About it. <laughs> there was no denying that, miss. Now what was it you were wanting to ask me? See, now he sounds like Scotty from Star Trek. Yeah, I know. I guess they they're confused. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Let's ask about the baseball. What do you know about a baseball? <laughs> baseball? I wouldn't want to be getting hit by one. <laughs> Gilbert is immortal. You know what? I just very much hope so. <laughs> From can your you tell lips. me about the speakeasy? The singular. No, I don't yeah. know anything about a speakeasy. In all of New York, there's we one. We don't clean city here. But there are some nice places where a lady like yourself can sit and relax and enjoy a bit of the high life, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> sure, some of these places are restricted, don't you know? So you have to be giving them the right signs so they know they're okay. Well, just mention it's Charleston, and you're in a green. Charleston! Mm-hmm. I think so. Thank you kindly, Sergeant. Don't mention it. And I mean it now. Don't you go mentioning it. Not to anyone. Don't you go mentioning it. Nice. I know nothing about this speakeasy, I and I will nothing. deny it if you say anything. <clears throat> what do you know about the Lion Decker Museum? A very fine establishment. Worthwhile seeing, even if you're only in town for a short while. Very educational. Because they're in New York, Kraken. Well, but I live in the city, and I'm not coming to see all the landmarks. Like he just trails off. Well, yeah. Were there a question? Uh, just why is he Scottish and she's from Alabama? It's like, 
you know, because it's New York. And then I, I like I like Alice of Alice reasoning mm-hmm. because video game logic. Yeah. Yeah. Is she from mm-hmm. Alabama? Have we established that? I don't know if they said where she was from. Yeah, it was Louisiana. Just the no. South. It's just the South. Just the.